Daly Thompson is also a sporting giant. Olympic, Commonwealth and European champion, Daly also added the first world title to his list of achievements in Helsinki in 1983. The decathlon, 10 events over two days, starting with the 100 meter sprint, Daly in lane six. Oh, and Daly's away well, Hinkson not too badly away, and Bent's in the middle, but Thompson coming away now on the near side, and he's holding up at the moment, and Nicklaus on the far side, Thompson leading by a long margin, Nicklaus in second, third on this side, Kratzmer, 10.62, and that's uh, a good start for Daly. Daly Thompson, two problems in this long jump, his first round jump was a no jump, and it looked quite long. The long jump is one of the events he wanted to avoid as much as possible because it, uh, that's aggravating that groin strain. But he must get one in this time or he puts himself under a great deal of pressure. And that's better. That's better. White flag and relief in the British camp and relief in his mind, I'm sure. 7.88 for Daly Thompson, 996 points. What a response from the man. So, can Daly get somewhere near the 15 metres and uh, 44 centimetres that uh, we know he's capable of? He has achieved more than that in training, but whether he can put it into the context of a decathlon now, we shall see. First put. Oh yes, that's an enormous put for Daly. Very, very competent piece of putting indeed. And the great competitor has really shown much bigger men how to throw the shot. Very low at the back of the circle, keeps the left arm down, then lifts. And that is as good as uh, Daly Thompson has been for some time. 15.35. three big smile it's back again well, Daly already up on Fremont outside him and he's going for a very fast first 200 meters and Hinkson making no impression at all on him at the moment Kratzmer on the outside is Thompson's target now and he's already overtaken him on the stagger Hinkson's up there and so is Vence on the inside and at Kapkin Thompson storming through 200 meters and now it's all about the clock the time we must get somewhere in the region of 47 seconds for him to be in with the good score Vence and Hinkson in his wake Thompson now driving hard, but they're catching him. And he's tying up as they come to the line. And it's Nicklaus who's coming through. Thompson, Nicklaus and Hinkson. And Thompson, Hinkson, Benz and Nicklaus in a line. The time 48.08. And that will be disappointing for Daly. He wanted something faster. And really, his fitness over that last 50 metres or so came into question. The sixth discipline of the decathlon, the first of the second day. But Daly got away very well indeed. He's ahead at the moment and Kratzmer coming through and so is Hingston. But Daly's had a good one so far. Oh, there's a disaster there for the uh, for a cap in the Russian. But Daly coming through and Hingston's just coming through to over. It's a good run by Kratzmer. Oh, on the far side, of course, Bents. But the three in the middle and Daly has run well. 14.4 and that is a very good run indeed well this will be a hello bus throw for Daly Thompson two very good consistent throws safe solid throws he'd love to throw his Athens mark of 45 plus and he'll go for it now and that's nice solid what a good piece of throwing from the Olympic champion. 43.70 is best mark. He's creeping away from Hinkson all the time. Hinkson's good javelin still to come, but Thompson will match that in the pole vault. 44.46 for Daly Thompson. And the gap grows.
His second attempt at 5 metres 10, 16 feet 8 and 3 quarters, but more significant is the point score associated with that height, 1,075. If he goes clear, he takes his total to 7,251 and the margin to 188 points. And that would be very useful because his, uh, one of his weaker events, I don't think any of his events is weak, but one of his weaker events, the javelin, is to follow and he needs the, as much uh, advantage as he can get here. Oh, he's clear! 5'10", 7,251, the margin 188, and the world record holder falls further and further behind. The best ever vault achieved by Daly Thompson in a decathlon, and what a time to do it in the World Championship. Daly needs uh, a better cushion if he can get it. Got about 15 seconds to make up in that 1500 metres, but he's thrown well and providing he is fit, it's had a longer throw! Oh, absolutely on the nail. Put him to the test and he comes through it every time. If you want to put your shirt on anyone, put it on this man. Injured or not. Third and last round throw. Beginning to worry us, and then 65, 34, daily 24, 65, 24. He's given himself a few more seconds in that 1500 meters to come. You're seeing the greatest all round athlete in the world in action at the end of two of the most grueling days that anyone could have uh, possibly taken on. And he will take the bell now, and the gap is, has grown to maybe three or four seconds. And he pulls himself away from the East Germans. He's tired, but he's on the shoulder, really. He's got five metres behind Siggy Venks. Never mind the Russian who's way out in front. There is only one winner there, and it's Daly Thompson. Hinkson is trying to get away by 30 yards and Hinkson has been brave as well. Hinkson had a best ever in a pole vault when under all sorts of pressure. But in the earlier events, he could not do enough to break that. And Vence is looking over his shoulder and Hinks is just, Hinkson is making sure of the silver medal. Thompson may well be driven there. Stefan Grump goes with him. He's on the shoulder of the other West German and he's got less than 200 meters to go for a world title. And Hinkson is dragging his tired body. What a good effort from a 15 stone man who's sprinting down the home straight. And Thompson's got to drive himself just a little more. Remember the gap is 21 seconds and don't start panicking yet. Thompson has got 60 yards to go. Hinkson hits the line, 420 or thereabouts. Daly Thompson dragging himself up to the line and he has done enough. And there's our first world champion. The gap about eight seconds. Champion of the world, 429.5, and that is quite magnificent.